Hi, and welcome back to Fight TV. I'm Nikos Bauer. This is Stefan Jensen, Mr. C. Ron Brown here. And our guide of today is... Johannes Bigon Peterson. And today we're going to do some serious bike fit. It's been quite a cold night, so probably the fishing won't pick up until a little bit later. But what we're doing is trying to find the small, small eddies of the water here. So we're just gonna walk along the river bank, trying to find these small holes, and then just give them a few casts. So welcome guys to Denmark. Uh, we are going to fish for pike. I fished this river um, five, six years ago for mm -hmm. the first time. And then uh, this gentleman was much smaller, or not so much smaller, <laughs> but at least younger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he was an awesome pike fisherman already at that time. He was 15 mm -hmm. and he was guiding me and a good friend in this river here. And uh, so today he's going to be the star of the program, hopefully. Yeah. I catch a big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, tell us a little about the, yeah. the river. Definitely. Um, the river we, we are going to fish today is the, the River Gudenholm. Yep. It's very famous for the big fish we have uh, caught through the last 10 years. Yep. Um, and fished really for, big fish. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 120 centimeters plus fish. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it's a really awesome place to, to catch the big fish because yep. they're coming up from the fjord yep. and uh, get up, uh, get uh, swimming up here to, to spawn. Yeah. Are they the spawning in the river or yeah. on the banks on the river? On the banks. Like? You're normally used to you know brackish water and yep. lake fishing. This is a little bit different because yep. you got a current you have to uh, control also. So and you have to adjust about that. Yeah, and, and definitely. The, the fish is not standing in every weed bank. No, they're standing on the edges and yeah. you get a lot of strikes just on the banks cool, close to so you. So it's really awesome to see some uh, 122 centimeters <laughs> plus uh, <laughs> having the fly. So it's very, it's, it's so cool yeah. to fish there. And then we have our, um, we call it in Swedish, a prao here. He's uh, <laughs> our sea trout master from, from Helsingborg here. Wave to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna teach Stefan how to fish pike today too, so. Yeah. So what do you say? Let's go and catch a big one? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's go. gonna be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome take! <laughs> it's not a big fish, but no, it's a but it was cool. Nice fish, beautiful colors. Just gonna release it really quickly. Cool. The pike took a 100% silver fly with a silver and a black uh, wiggle tail. It's a really nice combo uh, to have after the fly, and it it works really well in the water. It looks awesome. It's been a really cold morning, but now. The sun is really warming everything up and it seems like the fishing is starting to pick up now. What do you say? Yeah, definitely. Um, the fishing uh, has been quite slow this morning, as you say, but yeah. we got some plus degrees in, in the weather now and uh, the sun is up. And it's an awesome spring day now. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we're definitely going to catch some fish now. <laughs> I'm sure. When we're fishing these rivers for pre-spawn pike, uh, you want to find these places where the fish is really, is their holding places. And what you want to do there is cast short cast upstreams with really heavy weighted flies. So we can get the flies down fast and deep. And don't kind of trick yourself to casting really far out because usually the fish and the stream is pushing the fish towards the shoreline like this. So. Just really short cast, focus the, the fly on getting it deep and fish it really nice where the fish is standing instead of just casting 25 meters cast. It's a good tip. Just that one, Niklas. <laughs> 
Uh, so. Hey! <laughs> you really need, when you're fishing this type of fishing, you really need to fish the fly really slow to get the fish to strike because they're really not that active. As, an, as you could see, I just got a strike on the, on the fly. It's so much fun because as slow as possible, um, it's really cool to fish with these wiggle tails because when the, f the fly is coming in really, really slow, the tail is still moving like a lot. And as you can see, it's working pretty awesome in these uh, conditions. Come on. Four times it has, to, has uh, hit the fly now. Really need it now. Come on. Wait, it's right behind it. Come on. Come on. It's <laughs> crazy. Oh, I love pikes. So awesome. First cast. <laughs> well, I went down in, into a very small fly and first cast with it, it just came and ate it. So, or downsized to a, a really, uh, really, really small fly uh, used for really cold conditions. And the first cast, uh, this small guy came and hammered it. So you can see just really nice small guy. Somebody chewed on him. We'll let this guy go first and I'll show you the fly. Okay. It's a simple sonker pattern. This is um, from the guys over the pond. And you have some beads underneath and just made an extension for the wiggle tail. It's not a lot, but it's what they wanted when it's so cold in the morning here. What I'm trying to do, you see the tree is here lying, it's become, making a big pocket here. So I'm kind of trying to get the fly down behind the tree here and in this eddy here. Because this is probably where the big fish is standing. Just saving energy because the water is still cold. It's really different fishing, but it's awesome because it's you don't have to cast far and you don't actually have to be such a skilled caster to be able to do this. So, And I mean, we're not targeting a lot of fish. We're only targeting really big fish. So it's kind of a all in game. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Usually you lose, but we'll see if we can win today. So this is what happens when you take a prow with air fishing. What do you think, guys? Should we leave him? <laughs> do you need a hand? What direction? But that's the ditch, you know. Oh. Wait, wait, I'll just destroy the ice here. Up, are you up? <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> I made it! Good. Should we go around the ditch? Tip of the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't go in there. <laughs> No, man. That's a big no. one. Down, 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 down. Holy shit. And pull, 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 pull. Yeah, yeah. Get it down. A little bit down, a little bit down. And pull, pull, pull. Pull. Yes, yes, yes. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh. The fly is actually touching. Come on. Okay, let it maybe a little bit further down with the fly. Yeah, hold it there, hold it there. Just to eat it. It's, it's not at all as big as the one you, I had before. There's something wrong with the, the eye. The blind one. Yeah. 
think so. So we get, need to get the fly on the right side. Yeah. Put it a little bit faster in front of it, so it needs to. So it needs to swim for it. I think that's. It, oh, it's coming here. I see it. Fuck, that's good, man. Did we spook it? Ah, it's coming back, it's coming back. He's swimming towards his upstream here a little bit. Pull his It's just fucking awesome, man. Yeah, keep it. <laughs> Look at all the eels. Well, we're getting the reaction, but. Oh, wait. I think he's blind on one side, isn't he? Yeah, he's flying on one side. Yeah, on the left eye. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's so awesome. You know, that fish up there, that got me winded up, but it didn't got me screaming <laughs> like the other one. <laughs> the, the humongous beats. The uh, one you had this following this morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so are you going to stop with sea trout now and only fish pike? <laughs> Just kidding for you, <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm not going to stop, but... You're going to start with this? I'm, I'm going to definitely going to give it more, more time. Yeah. It's quite, it's actually fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave you now. <laughs> That was not the fish that followed, but... <laughs> fish has become a very, very, very picky. We're seeing some nice fish following, but we're only catching the small guys, so... But this is how it goes when you're going for big fish. It's kind of a... All or nothing. Look at the leeches on the body here. They're standing extremely still. Sometimes when the fishing is uh, is quite slow and the water is pretty unclear and it doesn't seem to be able to catch the fish, uh, it's really nice to change patterns on your fly to f to find something that that will work. But also, if you're thinking a little bit out of the box, you can tie a normal bow rig with a silicone tube on the rattle. So when you're rigging these uh, flies. You can you can um, put on a, a glow stick. So if I break it, shake a little bit, it will light uh, in the water, and it's really effective sometimes when the fishing is slow to 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 do something different, something they're not used to. So at the end of the rattle, it's just going to sit here and light up in in the water, and then you just put on a a big, slim uh, wiggle tail and a, and a cone, so you get a little bit down and then you're, you're ready to go. Super cool. So now we've been fishing most of the day and in the in the morning we had some struggle to get the, the fish to be active and uh, take the flies because of the, the cold uh, because of the cold morning but uh, when the sun came up and plastic and uh, the grease came 
yeah, what about two plus degrees in the weather, uh, we start to catch uh, a lot of fish and the, the fish got more active because of the sun. And uh, as you can see, the, they got a lot of eels on them and um, a decent fish, really beautiful. It's awesome to catch this uh, fish here on the fly rod. Um, it came out from the edges and it just swallowed the fly so hard. Uh, I mean, it's so awesome to catch these fish uh, on the fly rod. It's so, they are so aggressive uh, in the evening. So, easy to remove. The silver fly does the, the work pretty good with a silver wiggle tail and, a, and also a black wiggle tail. I'm using two wiggle tails too right now. It works pretty awesome, as you can see. So, there you have it. Beautiful fish, a lot of eels on them, so they're standing close to the bottom. So we are fishing the flies pretty deep and are rising uh, the fly at this last moment to get them to, to strike. So, now we're going to put her back so she can get a little bit bigger. It's so much fun to catch these fish. Every pike is so awesome. <sighs> cool.